What's up everybody, Jesse here, or Game Over Jesse as you all may know me, and today we have something really awesome for you guys. This is going to be an unboxing of the GPD Windows Gamepad Tablet from GearBest.com. Now, one thing that you're going to notice when you first look at this is the big golden GPD letters on it, which stands for Gamepad Digital. The box itself has a really nice velvet touch to it. So let's go ahead, open it up, and see what all is inside. First, we see the Windows 10 license key. I have mine blocked out for obvious reasons, and to the left of it we have the actual console. Well, this is actually the interesting part. I'm technically not sure if I should call this a miniature laptop, a tablet, or a console. Just as the Nintendo Switch is a hybrid of home and handheld consoles, the GPD is also a hybrid. So for the purposes of this video, I'll just call it a console, because that's how I'm mostly going to be using it. But before we take a closer look at the console itself, a size comparison, and go into detail on the specs, which for the record is more than enough to play popular games like Overwatch, let's check out everything that actually comes in the box with it. Really quick, for those of you who may be interested in picking one of these up for yourself, I have links to everything in the description and the top pinned comment, including a coupon code to knock off some of the price. If you use it, it'll help me out, and it'll let you buy this for a much cheaper price. Removing the first box reveals two smaller boxes and a screen protector, something that the 3DS, the Switch, and the Vita should have all came with. I personally don't like to use them, but I know a lot of people have them for almost every touchscreen device they own, so it's nice to see one included for once. The boxes themselves have a nice look to them, solid black and labeled with the contents of what's inside. The smaller box has the charger inside it, for those wondering it's 2.5 amps and 5 volts. For comparison, I believe the Nintendo Switch charger is 1.5 amps and 5 volts. In the larger box we have a pair of white headphones that look very similar to the earbuds from Apple. I've used them and they actually sound pretty similar, definitely a lot better than the cheap $5 earphones that you can find everywhere online. Also in this box is the USB Type-C charger for the GPD. For those that aren't familiar, this is the same USB that comes with the Nintendo Switch. These are great because they charge a lot quicker than normal USB and go in perfect every time. Finally, we have a small but long box that holds the instruction manual. Now to move on to the important stuff. I won't be doing a full review on this because I haven't had much time with the system itself, but I will be doing a standard overview covering all of the specs, a size comparison, and the button layout. It has a 5.5 multi-touch screen which is the same size as the newest iPhone 7 Plus, which are both almost an inch larger than the 3DS XL. The GPD also has a 720p screen, which is the same resolution as the Nintendo Switch. It has a full QWERTY keyboard. On top we see a Nintendo style D-pad, a left and right analog stick that feels very similar to the Nintendo Switch. Definitely a lot better than the ones included on the PlayStation Vita and the Nintendo 3DS. We have the standard ABXY buttons. To the right of the keyboard we have a red power button, volume control, and a few more typical game control buttons like select, start, L3, and R3. In the middle of the two analog sticks is a really cool solution for switching between gaming mode and PC mode. For example, moving the switch to the middle and selecting the mouse will allow you to use the right analog stick as the mouse, with the L and R shoulder buttons becoming the left and right click of the mouse. On the very top of the console we have L1, L2, a standard headphone jack, a USB 3.0 port that works in the same way that it would on a PC or a laptop. I've already used it to move some games from my laptop to it via a USB flash drive and it worked really well. Beside this, we have a mini SD card slot for expandable storage, a mini HDMI that is covered up that will allow you to play games or watch movies on a TV. Alternatively, you could use it as an actual portable laptop with it plugged into a monitor and using the USB for a full-sized keyboard. Then we have a USB Type-C port that can be used to quickly charge the console. And finally, we have R2 and R1. If we take a look at the back of the console, we have a similar switch to the one found on the front. This one, however, controls the fan speeds, which actually works amazingly well. You can see the circle of small air holes where the fan is located, and you can have the fan set on silent for when you're just browsing the web or showing off the console. You can put it in the middle for a low speed that helps when watching HD movies or playing basic games. 
And last is a max fan speed for when you're really pushing the hardware to its limits. Finally on the left and right sides of the console we have the speakers. And that basically covers all of the buttons and switches on the console itself, and yes it actually does feel great to hold and use. If you are used to playing the 3DS or a 3DS XL, you will have no problem playing games on the GPD, especially seeing as the screen is slightly larger and is actually native HD. I haven't been able to test too many games on this just yet, but I will be making a future video that goes into a full review. I'll test out loading times for certain games and do some tests to see how well it actually runs intense games. I'll even try to do some third party games that are also available on the Nintendo Switch and 3DS for comparison. For the nerds out there like myself that are actually interested in what's inside the GPD, it has an Intel Cherry Trail Z8700 quad core CPU clocked at 1.6 GHz and boosts up to 2.4 GHz. And it uses Intel HD graphics with 4 GB of RAM, which is actually more RAM than the Nintendo Wii U, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 combined. For those wondering, that is more than enough to play basic games like Minecraft and even Overwatch at respectable settings, especially considering this thing is as portable as it is. It's basically the same size as a Nintendo 3DS XL, but way more powerful. It comes with 64GB of hard drive space available, which again is more than the Nintendo Switch, and you can even use SD cards in it in order to expand storage space. Again, a more in-depth review will be coming in the future, but if this is something that you're interested in, I have links to everything in the description and the top pinned comment, including a coupon code to knock off some of the price. I want to thank you all for watching this video and welcome to the end slate. If you're a fan of these videos, you can follow me on Twitter for updates on future videos at GameOverJesse. Please subscribe, like, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to watch even more of my videos, click the video to the left or let me know what types of videos you would like to see in the future. I would like to take the rest of this time to thank all of my Patreon supporters. If you're a fan of this channel and would also like to help us out by becoming a Patreon supporter and get some awesome rewards for yourself, like being a part of my videos, shoutouts, custom avatars, giveaways, being added to our private discord to chat during live streams, and more, please visit patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where even smaller supporters at the $1 level will get you some awesome stuff. Finally, a huge thank you to this month's supporters. George says hi, Link uses the Triforce, Transcendent Sacred Courage, Glenn Cassio, Prey Warrior, Lunarium, Chris Gasparin, Harris Priest, Lovable Christy, Key of Time 15, Jerome Measure, Daryl Quinnen, Furzen 16, Cadron, Magic Tech Review, and The Itch Network. <laughs>